get behind the brake pad and push the brake pad all the way back into the bore as far as it's supposed to go. Make sure both pistons are in. Because like I said, this is a dual piston setup on this one. All, right, all the way in there. And we're all the way in there. Now it's no big deal. If you don't push them in all the way, we can do it later on. But I'm just trying to save a step. All right. Now we'll take out these bolts. We're going to take our caliper, just pull it off to the side like this. And what I usually do is hook it with a, a wire like this and just relocate it up out of your way. We're going to take out these, these spreader clips right here. We are going to use new ones, so we don't have to really worry about this. We are going to change them. But I always be careful. You don't want to drop them on the floor and run it over by accident and wind up with a flat tire. All right. All right, so we'll just put this off to the side for that way. We will come down, come back. You can see that this one is very close also. All right, we're going to take this one out as well. We've got those bolts in the back that we talked about back here. It's a 17-millimeter. Uh, this off to the side for now and we will come back to uh, the cleaning up and replacing this hardware. Now, now we got to get that rotor off so different ways you can do it again you get back in here with a pry bar like this and then you can take a hammer and you can hit it here a couple of times and sometimes it'll pop off. Let me try it. Like I said you can bang in the back there or you can just screw the screw in through here, like that. Now sometimes this is rusty and it doesn't really screw in too good. So just make sure you have it caught correctly. And you just turn this nice and easy. You may want to use eye protection so you don't get any kind of rust in your face. And you see how it pulls it right off? You don't have to break your coconuts trying to uh, to get this rotor off by beating on it with a hammer and possibly do it further damage. All right, so we have it off. Take it off like this. And now this has actually got a significant amount of rust in here, so we are going to clean this up before we go any further. And there's different ways you can do that. You can get in here with the scraper, and you can scrape it to get all that rust off. You can use sandpaper if you have to, or emery cloth. You can use a gasket scraper, like this, to get it off. Or, you can do it like this, use a disc like this, and you can clean up all of that rust on there so that it's, uh, it's nice and clean. So, um, so, let me clean this up, let me get the new rotor, and we'll come right back. Okay, um, now new rotors come with, um, come with oil on it grease. So you need to clean all that grease off of that. So we'll just take the bag, get rid of it, and now we're going to clean up the face right here with brake cleaner just to get that grease off there. Now if you get it all off that's fine. If you don't get it all off that's fine too. You just want to get the majority of it so it doesn't smoke. You can see how oily this is here. So we just clean it off a little bit with some brake cleaner. This will minimize the amount of smoking that's going to happen when you drive the vehicle. All right, and now once you got it clean, now we just put it back on the car. Slide it back on. And now what I always do is take a lug nut and put a lug nut on here to hold the rotor in place while you're working with it, otherwise it may fall off and you may, not that it's going to be a big deal, but sometimes you'll wind up fumbling around with it when there's no need to. Okay, now after we have the rotor on the vehicle, we're going to change the mounting hardware. This hardware kit right here. This is all the, the new pieces. 
All right, and what I'm doing. Just take these and you pull it out. Sometimes they're a little tight. And you just pry them out, just like that. Now, if you're not sure where they're gonna go or how you're gonna put them back on, do them one at a time so you don't make a mistake. All right? Make sure there's not a lot of rust inside here. And as you can see, this one is clean. Now, take your hardware like this and just match it up with your replacement. See that? It's the exact same one, right? So we're gonna take that, put it to the side. We're gonna put a little bit of lubricant right in here. And then we're gonna push this piece back on here so that it pops right back in where it belongs just like that. And now we'll move over and we'll do the exact same thing on this one. Take these pins and you, you pull these out. Now, before that, all right. Make sure when you lubricate it, you push it back in until that boot pops back up. And we'll do the exact same thing here. Now this one is pretty tight, also, but it comes right out. All right. Just a little bit of grease on here, not too much, and I will put it back in, push it in, and make sure it pops back up like that. All right, now, every place that the brake pad is going to touch, you lubricate, okay, just like that. Now, um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the brake pads that you took off, and you see this one here has got the, uh, I'll show you. See how it has these clips up on top here? These are the indicators. When they wear down to a certain point, they'll start to squeak. So we are going to put these back on to the new shoes. So this one is your outer brake pad. You can see it's the outer. And we're going to put it on this end over here. That, make sure you're inside. This is off just a little bit, so we're going to push it in just till it's in where it belongs, just like that. Okay, so now we know that this one is the outer brake pad, so we're going to put this one in the outer part, like this. On the bottom. Push this. Okay. Just like that. And now we're going to turn it around and we're going to put the other pad in. Now, remember, this one is the inner. You can see the circles there, so we know that's the inner. So we need to put that clip back on there. Now, just make sure the clip goes on all the way. Sometimes it feels like it is, and it isn't. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap it in a little bit. And there, it's down all the way the way it's supposed to be. All right, now this we're gonna put back in here the same way. This clip goes in first, like that. And then we're gonna put the other one in here. Now granted, sometimes this is a little bit of a pain in the rear end to do, so have patience. So now that we have these back in place here and here, now we're going to take the caliper, we're going to put it back into the vehicle. So let's, let's continue. You'll notice that I didn't put those spreader clips in yet, but we will get to that. Push it in, squeeze the brake pads together, and then we'll catch those bolts in the back that we previously took out, the 17 millimeters.
when you put these spreader clips on and you put these in here, these brake pads are just naturally going to try to pop out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. You take your caliper and just temporarily put it on like this for a minute. You screw in one screw up on the top like this. And then we'll take this and rotate this up like that. Okay? Now, a little bit of lubricant. Every place that the brake pad, what are you looking down there for? Come on, come on up here. Every place that the brake pad touches, like this, a little bit of lubricant on everything. Okay? Like that. And now every place that that brake pad is going to touch is now greased. Now, when you put these spreader clips in, the natural thing is this is going to try to push out. Let's see if I can get you on top and bottom here at the same time. Okay, so we're going to put this in on the top, like this. And you'll notice the tiny little holes there. Put it in like that. Hold the brake pad and put it in just like this. And we'll do the exact same thing. See how it starts to push out? That's the way it's supposed to be so it doesn't actually have the drag on it. And then we'll put the other one in the bottom here. See how it just naturally tries to pull out? Put your clips in all the way. And now you just take your caliper, put it over the top like this. And pull it down over the top. And now you didn't have to worry about those things popping out. Now you catch your second bolt on the bottom here. Tight. And now we're going to tighten it up with our ratchet. Now I'm going to point this out. When you turn in this, you'll notice that this piece up here, you'll notice that when you're up here, and you're turning this, the whole thing is spinning. You see the slide pin is turning too? What you do is you come in here with a, a thin wall uh, wrench and you hold it so it doesn't rotate and you tighten up the bolt. That 14 millimeter in the back, you tighten it up and then you snug it down. And we'll do the exact same thing on the bottom here. Hold it like that. Tighten it up, and that's it. By holding a wrench on here like this, it keeps this from rotating. So let's just make sure these are tight enough. It is.